out and back into it, manage vehicles. And I tried to make this one the primary. I didn't save it, did I? That's what you didn't do. You have to save it. So there it goes. So now that one is the primary. Other than that, similar kind of process. We've got mul multiple vehicles in place. So then once we have the vehicles in place, we can, of course, start to uh, manage our, ch our trips. So I can import a trip or add a trip simply here, or this is where I can tie in the app. So if you get the mobile app that links to your QuickBooks in essence and turn on the location tracking, it will start to manage uh, your location. Hopefully you wanna you know, test that out and it should hopefully pull that information in to the unreviewed area and then you can manage uh, your trips from here. If you're gonna manually put the information in, sometimes it's useful to add the favorite locations. So you might just say, I, I, I have a small business and I drive to a certain client oftentimes. So you might say, I have my home office and then the client that I drive to. That might be a common kind of thing. So the way you can add the favorites is hit the add favorites down below. Here's a favorite that I added and I just basically put the address of where I'm going and I said this is our, or this is my office, right? So everything that I drive from my, we talked about the, the rules for when you can deduct uh, mileage for taxes and generally if that's your office, your principal place of business, where you're driving from there, your principal place of business uh, could be possibly deductible. So then you might wanna put your standard places where you're driving uh, like this and that can help you to, to, to put the information into the system possibly a little bit more quickly. And once you have that, you could also then uh, manage your mileage rules. Now, I think that these rules uh, might be best applicable if you're doing the, the auto app because you could set a rule to basically assign something to business or personal and then and then possibly hopefully when you're doing the the tracking of the app it can pull in to business or personal properly if you're just doing the data input possibly just for the business side of things on a manual basis it doesn't look to me like those rules are adding a lot of value however if you're doing the application then uh, that could save you uh, some time with the rules so then i'm going to say all right let's uh, add a trip so i'm going to add a trip and then we could put the miles up top. If I add the points of the trip that I have in my standard location, such as uh, I'm going from my office to the client, then it adds a distance up top. So it actually does a little calculation for me, which is nice. Now, obviously, if you don't, if you don't enter those locations, there's no address here, uh, or you, you do have an address component. So it might uh, populate the location basically automatically. Uh, if not, then you're gonna have to pull, you can pull in the location, do a map quest type of search and pull in the location. And then the business purpose, meeting with a client, I'm gonna say, and then down here, you can say enable this option will create two trips entries, one going from start to end, the other in the opposite direction. In other words, clearly, if you're going to your client office, and if this is pulled from like a map quest type of thing or whatever, Google Maps or something to, to know how far it is if there's a round trip it should be doubled so we'll round we'll round trip it for the round trip and so then i'll say save boom now note here that it put one into into unreviewed and the other into the business area so it's a little bit wonky on where they're going to go but obviously you could just go into the unreviewed area if it hasn't allocated it out because we assigned it to business and we're going to say this is going to go to the business side of things and so i'll save it purpose it needs a purpose meeting with the client boom and then it should pull it over to the business side now so if we go to the business side we've got the two items here so uh the start end start end so if i go into both of these things it made uh two of them with the start point the office the the end point the client and then this one it said the start point is is the client and the end point is the office, right? So it did the round trip by adding two separate uh, trips in there, both of them uh, having a distance of 2.3, 
which adds up to a total of point of 4.61. So there's the total miles that we're tracking for business. It's multiplying that by the standard mileage rate, basically from the IRS tax code for 2023 and giving us this 3.02 for the deduction. Again, that doesn't change what's on your financial statements over here on the, on the income statement. If I refresh the income statement, it's not pulling in over a tax deductible line item here. What's happening here is we're recording the actual gas that it took uh, to drive there. And we're gonna have to make an adjustment for that at the end of the year. And that's a standard year end kind of thing for sole proprietors. They have to deal with, with the auto thing if they're using you know a mileage method to try to figure that out. All right, so, so we'll talk more about that later, but let's add another trip. And this time, let's just add it straight up this way and I'll make it like a different date maybe. And this time I won't enter the distance, but I'm just gonna enter two areas. I always use the Beverly Hill addresses. So I'm gonna say it goes from, well, let's say it goes from our office and then we're gonna go to this different address, which is 10066 Cielo Drive, Beverly Hills 90210. <laughs> So then it puts the miles. They're a little bit further away from our other Beverly Hills home. That one cost, it's on sale right now if you want to buy it, about $55 million. $55 million. Ah, okay. So then we're going to say this is going to be a meeting with client, I'll just say. And once again, I'm going to say it's a round trip type of thing. So I'm going to say boom, round trip. And there it is. It's, it uh, adds one over here for some reason. So I'm just going to say put it to business round trip man meeting with client save it okay and then let's add another one let's add a trip and this one uh let's say is on uh the 31st and this time i'm going to change the vehicle to a ford to the ford and i'm going to say this one was going from our office to another client which is this is at this one's at uh 1420 David Davis Drive Beverly Hills 90210 <laughs> and then we're gonna say we're meeting with client that one cost 87 million dollars by the way the other the other cheapos over there paying this 55 million dollars next door it's a disgrace having the next door neighbors with such a cheap home anyways we're gonna save it boom and we're gonna say that let's add this business and we'll say meeting with client and so there it is so there we have our data let's add just one more and let's do let's add this one by adding another favorite locations and let's let's say this is client number three find a good home to put on here. This one's 75 minutes.